All right, so we're with Brian, the gold guy. Everybody was wondering who you were, Brian. <laughs> so, bring Brian some stuff. Um, let's see what we make today. So far, he found one piece of 10 karat gold and uh, stuff I didn't know what it was. So. First thing you do, like you can test with magnets to see if, yeah. you know, if chains are magnetic. That's a copper, that's a brass. Hey, nothing really new. No, all right, will we come back or no? Maybe, like the guy's supposed to come down a little vintage of gold. 10 carat 417, 14 carat 585, 18 carat would be 750. So if they see those little numbers, that could be gold too. Okay. Doesn't the acid burn your fingers? And yeah, I got burns on my hands. Here. Yeah, I think I should uh, <laughs> once or twice. Yeah. You just gotta be careful, rinse it off. Baking soda sometimes will just neutralize the acid. So okay. You don't get a burn. This is like a tent carrot here. It's another little piece. Yeah, uh, did you test it for 14 or just a 10? Yeah, but I, it disappeared under an acid. Under okay. the 14, so if it turns dark brown under 14 carat, then it'll show you that it's like a 10 carat. If it disappears, then it's just a plated. All right, it's good to know. That's one way to <laughs> figure them it's out. A little st strong magnet. Then also, if a chain, if you go to lift it up, sometimes a chain. And it's, uh, it yep. won't pick up, hold it this way, up and down, because then it's lighter, so you can pull it to the side. Sometimes the weight of the chain will hold it down. And then in here. Yes, I just plate. Plate in. That's a little magnetic. How about when you were um, breaking the safe open, right? All the bolts and things were coming out. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was glad I didn't get shot. <laughs> I was waiting for one of them to go off. Now this, I wasn't, sh it's marked 10 karat gold, but I wasn't sure if it's worth anything mm. just for the little glass. Well, probably you gotta try to sell it privately because this is less than $6. Okay. That little piece, so you could always do a little better. Yep. And, uh, this one has a post on it, but then this, this is plated, like the body itself is plated, but the gold is, to, is just, uh, the body itself is plate mm. down there to prevent infection, they put gold post on. So what's the little post worth then? Down there. I could, let's just see. Is it worth like okay, a dollar or worth, anything? Well, we'll put it in at the 10 because it looks like it's reinforced with a little bit of metal. Fancy colored one is marked 120th. So, what does that mean? So, just like a gold filled. Ah. You can see it's like a real bright, almost like a 22 carat yellow. So, even if they're signed, they could still. Yes. See, so because it disappears under 14 carat acid when we hold it up to the stone or magnet, it's magnetic too. Hmm. This one, see magnetic. Then when we put it onto the acid, yeah. 
And it wouldn't even be 10 karat gold? No. This yep. gold is non-magnetic. Okay. On there. Wow. I was like, yeah, I hit a great score. It's all marked. Now, where do people get stuff like this? this? They just, it's just counterfeit stuff. A lot of times they sell them on the streets, at the markets and things. So you have to be careful. Main thing, if people carry a heavy, a strong magnet with them, that's one way of telling. You always search. Then you have an acid kit too. And this one is just plate. So, now this here too. This is a snap-on magnet. It costs like twenty-four dollars, but it's very strong. See the way it'll pick up things. Well, I have one of those uh, earth magnets. Yeah, yeah. I bought one of them, but it just sits at home. Mm -hmm. These were only remember magnetic here. Uh, so this all looks pretty good here. So, uh, yeah, I spent a long time looking most of that <laughs> up. So what we could do we'll see what we have in a in a ten carat. Now what would the big class ring be worth? Because well, here we have I was looking that up online and some were going for... Well, there's certain colleges people like on there are like, like West Point, early uh, 1940s and 50s schools. So let's see if we put this on here and now you have 8.8 .8 with the stone, 8.7. So it's about eight penny weights times uh, say 27, about $216. So if you think you can get, you know, over like $235 clear on the internet. You try to put it up for like $295. No, because then you got all the taxes, fees. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. On there. It works. But that alone is, like I said, over $200 alone. On there. And then we have here. Let's see. All right. So then, then there's some stones in there too. So we just take that into account. So we have 9.9, so we're gonna have 9.2 times 27, about $248 there. Okay, so. so 248, 248, and uh, 200, I think it was 212. Is that what he said? Should be, right. Let me go here. Could be 216. All right. Well, that sounds fair to me. Yeah. So we have 248 plus 216 plus, so the 10 carat is 464. Wow. Well, yes, I get his tester for that. All right. And then we have the 14 carat. Some stones. Yeah, there's a lot of stones in them. Yeah. Now, uh, this might be another two more to get checked because the yeah. diamonds. Let's set them with that one. Let's see. And the little diamonds aren't worth anything, right? Well, you can buy small small ones for $80 to $120 per carat. So sometimes they're not even worth removing from a ring. Like the red ones wouldn't be rubies or anything. No, again, rubies are are not not. That's like a garnet. Okay. On her, but they don't cost that much. Like you you lose that stone wholesale, it only costs about three dollars. Wow. Then if you lose it, the jeweler charges you like twenty five dollars. <laughs> on her. Okay, so we'll start here. Plus these have some gold, but then there's stones in here. You want to just add these in, just in case? Yeah, we could always add them later. Okay. So, 
shifter, that's all broken out and everything. Approximately 10 penny weights without the stone. So if we take 10 times uh, $39 equals $390 right here. That's all yeah, together? Yeah, 390 yep. 390 for the 14. Then what, I could get the diamond tester okay. in the truck. So what did it weigh all together? This one, if all these stones are removed, about 10 penny weights is what you're going to have here. Oh, what about weights. this one? No, that's it? here. Oh. On there, because this, this come out to about four points some. But the, after all the stones are out, there's not that much. And some could be like a l little lesser. We didn't test it with the magnet. Now be careful too, because like you said, a lot of times earrings could be have a gold post, but the body is plated. So a lot of people have been buying these as gold, but only the post is gold. So you have to be very careful if you're buying things. That's good to know. Anyway, and then I just have to get the tester. Then you can put what to be tested in here. and that one I'm gonna look at after. This you too? Yeah. Yeah, the little stuff. Is that a costume or real stuff too? Yeah, uh, so costume. Here, when we right. put that on, no reaction. So just, just like a cubic zirconia, no reaction. A, a real diamond will go way up to the top, signify diamond. Hmm. We also make man-made diamonds too. That's like a simulant on there. This one. And that just touched metal. Oh. <laughs> that plate. And you have this small one. Yes, yeah, so and nothing. Wow. Down there. Usually, you look if you look at the little facets and things, if they're chips or not like really pinpoint sharp, it shows that it's not a diamond. So, what does that add into with the um, 14? You only have maybe a third of a penny weight, like $10. Well, yeah. that brings it up yeah, 10. to four. I really gotta learn this shit. Yeah, right. And we have a, 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 a ring. I didn't bring the gold watch, I brought oh. this other one. Alright. So let's see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hamilton. It's an old railroad one. Oh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, just you want to hear a bummer? A couple months ago, I found a, a Patek Philippe watch <laughs> at a garage sale. For fucking ten dollars, right? It was a calendar from the seventies. A real one? Thirty thousand dollar watch. All right. When I tested the eighteen karat gold on it, it was bad. I had twenty thousand in my hand, bro. I was sick. The fucking gold was bad. Effing gold was bad. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying, bro? I was sick. Mm -hmm. Sick. I didn't talk for two days. Not a word. Okay. The inside, what happened? This is a waterproof case. Okay. That keeps water from coming in. But what happens if you notice water got in there? Yeah. On there, and there's rust. It's marked 14 karat gold filled. The Hamilton movement. If we, it still has spring tension on it. So let's see. It may need a little oiling. But every Hamilton usually ha will have a standard number. This is a 912 movement in a gold filled case. So gold filled brings, you know, roughly about $25 per ounce. The movement alone on eBay, people buy them for parts for maybe thirty-five dollars and nine twelve. Higher grade Hamilton movements bring more. Okay. On there, so at least we check that it's just gold plated. Moisture got in there, a little rust, but we, it didn't tighten up the spring. So you still have to watch. Ten dollars. Baseball cards flying around here. That's what I wanted to ask you. No, I don't see any baseball card people. No. Old stuff. No. What you buy them or you sell them? Sell them. Okay. You got some? No, I was just wondering. You know what I do with a $4 bar? If you, have, if you ever get it, you know Dave gets some of that stuff, like the Pokemon, but I'm looking for like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and Pokemon. Okay. But if you ever get it, you know. I just found some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but I don't know where it went. It went into a tote and somewhere lost in my garage. But you do have it still? Yeah. Do you have any Magic stuff maybe too? No. Maybe. But you definitely have a little Yu-Gi-Oh? A little bit. Not much. Yeah. All right, well, if you get it, 
put it away, man. Just hold it, because I'll take it. You know, okay. As long as it ain't ripped up shit, I'll probably take all, you know, for the most part, I'd buy it all. All right? All right. Looks like your, your total is 894, so we'll round it up to 900. Perfect. And we'll double check it just to see. We had a 30 for the watch, 10 earrings, 390 plus 464 plus, yeah.